Hi, I'm Claire Varley and welcome to another edition of the Essendon District Football League 2015 season preview. We're counting down to the 2015 season thanks to the Pasco Vale Hotel, 12 Railway Parade, Pasco Vale. Today we're in Strathmore Community Bank Premier Division and looking at Airport West. After a number of high profile departures, it'll be a very different looking Eagles team taking to the field this season. To hear more, let's go to Teo Palazzari and Adam Saracoglu. Adam, when Airport West came onto the scene in Premier Division after winning the 2012 Grand Final, they went all the way to the preliminary final in 2013. It's been a steady decline since, and looking at the ins and outs for this season, it really does look as though they're moving into the lower half of the ladder this campaign unless something extraordinary or unexpected happens. What's your read on the comings and goings in the off-season at Airport West? There have been many of them. Yeah, look, there's no two ways about this. This is pretty much a, a clean-out. You know, start again, clean slate for Airport West this year. So many names have left and so many uh, pretty much first picks in the what was the best 22. It's going to be a completely different lineup this year, Airport West, and under new guidance as well because Adam Contessa is on his way to Paco. Clayton Rogers, the new coach, he's brought over Trent Barbero from Bandura, who played really well for the Northern Interleague team last season. Taylor Williamson, originally from Clarence in Tasmania, has been a Team of the Year standard player up in AFL New South Wales. Some players to watch, Caleb Baird, a 19-year-old ruckman from Caloundra in Queensland, so that'll be interesting to watch. Also Brent and Stuart Taylor from Kerrang and Springbank respectively coming in. Liam Nash straight out of the Gippsland Power TAC Cup team, he's one to watch. And Matthew Bullock has been a regular senior for Lansfield. So some good ins for Airport West there, spruiking youth. They're going to be giving plenty of players a chance this season and they're going to need to because as you can see there we've listed the outs and, and some of the names Gavin Urquhart very nearly the league medalist Daniel Harris uh, ex-AFL Andrew Walsh one of the best ruckmen in the league David Caruso Josh Crawford Marcus Kenny one of the best forwards in the league Trent Scorsus Aaron Sweet and Marcus White they really have taken the core of their senior group out and Adam clean out is probably the appropriate word but it is a chance to start again in a division that may be forgiving to a team that has a, a significant drop off given that we expect that they're simply going to be joining a number of teams in the bottom half of the table rather than falling below them. Yes, yeah, certainly, and I think they'll still be able to get enough wins to be able to stay up this year, but uh, certainly staying up is no guarantee for Airport West this year. They want to make sure they can get at least four or five wins and just stay ahead, keep their heads above water, above a couple of other teams in this division. So, uh, look, they should be aiming for five or six wins, and you know, if they get any more, it's probably a bonus this year anyway. It'll be exciting if they do come out of the blocks and, and trouble the big teams uh, at the top of the division and take care of business at the bottom of the league because it really will leave them in a position where they've got the safety and the freedom to go forth and really make a go of it. However, if they drop a game to Northern Saints, if they drop a game to West Coburg early in the season, then they may have to brace themselves for a battle against relegation. Adam, I'm not optimistic that Airport West will be uh, anywhere near the top four this year. I think they will do well to avoid the drop in the division this season. Eighth, ninth or tenth is is the range I've got for Airport West. Yeah, I'm going to stick to sort of six to perhaps nine for Airport West this year. There's probably a couple other teams that they are still ahead of, at least on paper, that should hold them in good enough stead to be able to stay up. That's it for this edition of the Essendon District Football League 2015 season preview. Keep watching the EDFL YouTube channel for more videos and we'll see you back here at the Pasco Vale Hotel soon.